Yes, he is big. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Buckeye buck right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven on one side. He's got a broke off brow tie, a little kicker here. <laughs> 13 pointer. Happy birthday, Pops. I've shot nearly 60 whitetails on camera for television shows, and so I've done a lot of whitetail hunting. And when you travel and hunt, what happens is that you run out of time. You only have a limited window. You get there on Sunday, you leave on the following Sunday. It's not like hunting out of your house where you can go out when the weather's good and stay in when the weather's bad and hunt this weekend and not that weekend and you have the whole season. Because when we leave Pike County, we're going to go to Kansas and hunt, then we're going to go to Oklahoma, then we're going to go to another state. And that's part of the television regimen to get enough television shows on hunting to make a full season. The hunt that I chose for my Super Slam was a hunt that I did in Illinois, in Pike County, Illinois. Jason Miller was a cameraman and we had struggled to get on a buck. Pike County, Illinois is known for monster bucks and we were holding out for a big deer, uh, but we weren't going to pass something that was medium sized or something that we thought we had good pre-roll on. Pre-roll is seeing the deer come into range. Anyway, come down to the last day and we went to a new spot deeper into the woods, deeper into the bedding area. And we get set up in tree stand and it's foggy. It's the last day to hunt. In fact, we got to get out of the tree at noon, pack and get on a plane. But as the fog lifts, suddenly we spot a buck and he's bedded like 150 yards from us in the woods, just bedded there. Big, gnarly rack, Pike County, Illinois buck, you know, Midwest whitetail, corn fed giant. And I'm thinking, you gotta be kidding me. You know, we're set up in this tree stand, the fog lifts, it's 7.30 in the morning and here's a big buck. You know, how can I get him into range? And so I start grunting and grunting and the buck is looking around, but he's not getting up. Finally, the buck gets up and walks away from us. I'm like, you're kidding me, you know, he just left. But what had happened was, is he went over a ridge to a creek to get a drink of water. And within 15 minutes, here he comes back. And now he's curious, now he's interested. And he starts walking right to us. Well, the wind is good for us, but this buck doesn't want to come straight into the tree. He stays back into the brush and he starts to try to work around us to wind us. This buck goes all the way around the tree and starts to come around to where he can wind us. And uh, I go to full draw and as he gets kind of around us where he can wind us, he actually turns and starts to walk away. Go down, go down. Yes. <laughs> Unbelievable. Look at this buck. <laughs> Incredible. Look at that. Look at that. 14 point Pike County racker right there. Look at the snout on this buck. It's hooked over to the left. Must have broke it when he was younger. <laughs> Incredible. You know, when this buck started to leave and I hit the grunt tube and he turned my way, that's when the nerves started in. And he hooked around. I didn't think I could get him stopped. 35 yards shy, he doesn't make it 100 yards from the tree. Look at the mass on this buck. 
You know, I think that's one of the neat things about hunting in an area like Pike County, Illinois, is that big bucks are here. And if you're patient, if you watch your scent, if you set up on good stands, if you come with a good outfitter like Carter's, look what you got right here. Look at this buck. Incredible. Just a phenomenal, exciting hunt. And I'll always remember that because it was the first time that, that I ever got into a tree stand and when the sun came up, there was a shooter buck in range bedded and the second thing was that he left but then he came back to answer the grunts and that's pretty exciting anytime you've got that interaction it's real exciting and then to make a great shot on him and have him go down on camera really was the icing on the cake it was my first and only pike county illinois buck and i call him my pike county prize fighter because he's just a brute